My name is Dr. Tony Calland and I'm chairman of the BMA's Medical Ethics Committee. And my role in the BMA is to ensure uh, that uh, the, within the BMA and outside the BMA the views of the Ethics Committee are made clear. Uh, I will do this uh, often through perhaps radio or television or also we uh, often go to Parliament and lobby MPs and members of the House of Lords uh, when there's relevant um, legislation coming up so that uh, we can try and influence that legislation so that it's in the best interests of our members. I also work with the Secretariat on the committee uh, to ensure that the topics that we discuss at the uh, committee are relevant to our members and we can then provide them with the assistance that they require when they come to us with queries. There are several important roles that the uh, Secretariat of the Ethics Committee fulfil. Uh, firstly, we respond to members' questions about ethical matters, uh, either by telephone or email or via the website. Uh, the Secretariat also prepare the documents for the committee. Uh, they write the papers uh, of very high quality, uh, which lay out the issues for and against whatever, um, and uh, put in a number of uh, bits of case law that may be relevant to the topic that we're discussing for the benefit of the members of the uh, committee so that we can actually have an informed debate uh, which uh, obviously is very important for the proper functioning of that committee. The Secretariat uh, produce a number of papers for the benefit of members. Uh, these may be in the form of pocket-sized toolkits which we have on child protection issues, on confidentiality, they're very popular. And also they provide more comprehensive documents which are on the website which we hope will be of value to members when they look on the website in answer to certain queries they have. The Secretariat and uh, myself as Chairman also work with the Parliamentary Unit uh, and uh, often uh, influence uh, and lobby MPs so that uh, we can get the BMA views across. There are a number of uh, questions that crop up frequently. Uh, we get questions about uh, confidentiality and the transmission of identifiable patient data, whether it's to the police or the primary care trust or often in child protection issues um, so that uh, doctors are obviously anxious about whether they should allow uh, patient data to be passed on and this is now a big issue with information governance and uh, the BMA in, through the Ethics Committee uh, provides comprehensive service to members to help them with those queries. We also get questions about the withdrawing and withholding of treatment at the end of life and we're increasingly asked about child protection issues, a uh, number of things, whether in fact for instance the reports that come out of case conferences should form part of the child's medical record and uh, all those answers uh, we will uh, have either in the toolkit or in the, on the website. Well, ethics affects doctors' working lives in a number of ways. Uh, increasingly with uh, advancing medical technology there are a number of ethical questions crop up around the end of life issues about uh, people on ventilation, uh, on cardiopulmonary resuscitation, when to start it, when not to start it, when to stop it. Uh, these are the, sort of the technical issues which are increasingly prevalent. Uh, we also, because we now live in an increasingly multicultural society, uh, have to take account of different cultures and uh, use medicine um, in different ways for different patient groups. Uh, so one has to be aware of uh, how uh, certain clinical decisions may impact on different types of different cult peoples of different culture. Uh, we also um, notice that the law is increasingly relevant to medical practice and it is important that doctors are aware of recent and past case law uh, and how that can uh, affect the, their practice because in some ways if wrong decisions are made this can uh, in certain circumstances lead to referral to the GMC which is obviously something 
that many members would want to avoid. Currently, we're looking at uh, the ethical issues around child protection, which has obviously been in the news a lot recently and is uh, very important. We are looking at the ethical issues around uh, immunization of children, um, particularly in relation to getting to a critical mass of immunized children and whether, uh, as in some countries, children should not be allowed to go to school unless they've been immunized. We're also looking at the ethical issues around the treatment and uh, medical care of the elderly. Uh, that impinges on rationing decisions and how they're made, and also the uh, whole care of people at the end of their lives. Uh, members can uh, contact the Ethics Committee either by telephone here at the office in London or via the uh, website or by email. And uh, we hope that uh, the service we can provide is a benefit to members and we answer your questions.